Hey, welcome back everybody. As you saw in the last video, we finished up the second floor wall framing. So now down to the first floor. And we already got a head start on some of the interior walls when we framed out the floors. So now we're just gonna finish out demising the rooms and uh, that'll pretty much be a wrap on the framing on this project at that point. And we'll get out of here and move on to the next thing. So let's take a quick walk around before we get started and we'll go over the basics of the floor plan. So this uh, coming in the front door here, we'll pan around. So we got a living room up here. Got stairs going up to the second floor and then there will be a set of pocket doors here. Then into a dining room here. So that's followed up by a butler's pantry and some closets. And you'll pass through to a kitchen. Main cabinets will be over there with those windows. And then back here there is a full bath and a laundry room. And what's being called a breakfast nook over here. So theoretically if you wanted to further down the road you could actually make another bedroom down here and make it a little more accessible. But that's what we got going. I don't know if it picks up the lines we snapped out yesterday or not, but we are ready to go and get started. So let's get to framing.
this is the heavy one. Oh, we're probably going to need another person. Gonna have, oh, yeah, you better get two people on this. Three people. Get a lot of best guys. Pretty sure it's catching on your blocks that are low. Okay. Let me get the ladder. Smack it, it's not going anywhere. I don't trust it. You're gonna need a bigger hammer than that too.
terms of it's tap the bottom there. Check to that block.
just like to this one. Again, did right there. Clearly. Got to find again.
Oh, you can do this one by yourself?
last one out. That nah, just needs to move over. Well, it'd be crooked. <coughs> no. Shot at number two. Trust any of these. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, huh? Okay. Alright, we're still on a little spot right here. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're too close to the too close to the stairs that we're gonna have that wiggle when we get it right like we want it. Yep. At the one place. 
this.
So. Well, that takes care of the last of the interior framing for the first floor. All of the walls are now in place and the rooms are formed out. So why don't we take a quick tour around and see it all together. So as you enter the front door, we have the living room area. And then if you want, you can go upstairs. So what was a door to the second floor apartment unit will become a fixed panel door, so it'll have the same look still. But if you don't go upstairs, you can come through what will get a pocket door like what was originally there. And this opening goes into the dining room, which also has the basement stairs. And then, there's a closet to the right here, passage through to the kitchen, there'll be some cabinets in the middle here, and then another doorway to the butler's pantry. So, pass-through pantry, interesting feature of a window, because this being a townhouse, it has only one side of windows, which means a lot of windows, and the historic tax credits mean keeping the windows generally. So back here is the kitchen. You can see where we just passed through, a couple closets, room for some shell cabinets, and then the butler pantry. And then the stove will be against the exterior between the windows. There's an island, and then there's a peninsula coming off where the framing ends here. It's left uh, to be made exact later once the uh, determination of how the cabinets work out is made. And then there is a breakfast nook back here. Nice area for a table. That's probably where I'd eat most of my meals. And then over here we have a compact full bath. Just a shower, not a tub. But that is the third full bath, which is Quite nice to have in the house. And then back here is a mudroom and laundry room with a door to the backyard, which is currently dark, but there'll be a parking pad out there and a porch, two level porch. So the primary suite above also gets a deck. So 
we'll do the reverse flow if you came in the back door you'll come into the kitchen after the mud broom which is nice sized and we'll have plenty of counter space which is always nice seems like you can never have enough and then back out through the butler pantry into the dining room and then into the front living room so nice size first floor on here so this is not only a wrap on the first floor framing this is a wrap on the project for us at least plumbers up next hvac electric windows drywall insulation finishes all that good fun stuff is coming up next so we'll probably pop back by here at some point and take a look at the progress on that but that is the end of us being here every day which was quite a few days as i'm sure you can put together through watching this series of videos we started in late August of 2023 on some painfully hot days where the high temperature got well over 100 degrees with dew points almost up to 80. So it was pretty miserable. We worked some short days and actually gave up at one point and just said we'll come back after the heat breaks. Uh, then there were some scattered other projects within there and some holidays, some time off to take care of some other things. So. We weren't working here that entire four months. For reference, it is now mid-December uh, after dark on a Saturday night. Just getting things finished up here. The last little pickup work that blocking mist here and other things that need to get taken care of. So that is all finished. The drywallers should be nice and happy with what we left them. And the plumbers should as well because they have their two by six walls where they need them, theoretically at least. Hopefully that works out. Um, so, good long project this is, since I've been in business for myself, actually the longest single place that we have worked on a project and the biggest overall project. So we do like doing big things like this. It's nice to be in the same place for a while, so hopefully that continues. Uh, into 2024, we're going to have a little bit of a break here for the holidays. Uh, maybe work on my own projects at home. We'll see how that works out. But if we do get out to the alley house or the other little rebuild house, we will certainly record that and get that put together for your viewing pleasure. So with that said, if you enjoyed what you saw here, we would love a thumbs up. We'd love to have you as a subscriber if you are not currently. And we will have more coming soon. Uh, little teaser, the next big project we have is a fancy front porch. So it'll be fun to see that come together soon. So until next time, have a great day.